Well, hey there, friend. How are you? This is Wizard Fu, still making the game Wraithbinder. And stoked to share some progress. This week has been significant. Super significant. Um, right now, I'm playing um, team mode. So there was just four other players, or three other players, on my team there that just got spawned. And um, um, we all spawned there at, at uh, my home base, and we all we fight the other team. Um, and now we've got a, a lot more of the actual mechanics to make Wraithbinder what it is inside the game. Right now we have the mini map in the top right and it's showing four green that's uh, on the same team as me and four red that's on the other team. Um, so now we, there we go, One of, somebody on my team just slayed somebody so we are at 3-5. Let's go look for some, ah, here we go, let's fight some people. Um, what's really neat is if you hit somebody if they have the shield out you get stunned so it really makes you it makes the combat um, really pretty fun as far as being accurate about your your sword when you swing it and when you don't so it doesn't just turn into a bash fest where everybody's th swinging the sword the whole time or using the fist or an axe or any other kind of melee weapon it's not just a melee bash fest it's a so there I died um, and ba that basically turns me into a wraith and now I'm on their team and it looks like it's 7-1, so their team is kicking butt. There's only one other player left, and this match will be over. Which is over pretty fast. We're at a minute and 30 seconds so far. It's a small map. Um, but I'm trying to do everything I can to make it so you can... Um, so matches can last a little bit longer. This guy's almost dead. My other, t my other team members are going at him right now. Or this character here. Oh, but she's healing because this is one of her bases, so I could destroy all her home lanterns right here, and that would destroy her ability to heal. Um, what's neat about team mode is you've got four different bases that are all yours you can heal at, and four other bases where you cannot heal. These the other team's base. It's taking us forever to try and attack this, this character because she's in her base. Let's try and get her out. Last it forever. No, don't get in her base. Don't get in the base. Oh, I got slain. Oh, now it's two. Interesting twist of events. Now I'm back on on my original team. Actually, I'm really curious as to see what's going to happen with this game. Um when you've got people switching teams so much, you know? It's interesting because you, sometimes the match can be really fast, you're like, boom, everybody dies on the other team, and it's 8-0, and boom, this, this team match wins. But sometimes it takes forever, to, it can really go back and forth, which I think will make things very interesting. We're back to 4-4. Four, four. <laughs> it's crazy. This is what I'm talking about. This could be really, really interesting how this game plays out. Every match can be different. Some matches could be like lasting really long, some matches are really short. Um, when you're a wraith, you can actually run through walls and run through bricks. So I'm a wraith right now, I can run through these walls. Which makes it kind of interesting to be a wraith, you know? I wonder if when you get into team mode... Um, oh, this guy's almost dead. Yes! Got him! I've slain Jer. You see what I'm talking about? How much progress has been made this week with Wraithbinder? If you've been follow following my videos, this is like a crazy lot of progress been made. Um, it's really coming together as a video game now. It's actually really fun to play. These, all these switches make this whole level really interesting because when you hit a switch, it opens up a lot of doors all over the level. It opens up doors between um, home bases. It opens up these doors that access the center point. Um, so once all these once all these these gates or doors or whatever open up and you have access to the center it usually makes the combat um, a lot it usually makes the the match end faster because there's the, everybody kind of tends to go towards the middle at that point um, maybe it's because the it's just the AI the way it pathfinds but um, I'm, I'm imagining if you're a human player it's gonna be similar too because you're 
you've got access to the middle, and if you know, if you played this game before, you're probably gonna go try and find other enemies to kill. And you'll probably end up going to the middle too. Oh, he's getting away. You go this way? Yeah. Oh god, he's got him. I gotta take this guy down. It's actually gonna end this match, huh? Oh, he's almost in full health! Died. Oh, there we go. This is my base. Yeah, fight me in my base. It's perfect. Um, yeah, and then so also there's there's uh, two modes right now for Wraith Binder. There's free for all mode and um, this team mode here. I'm playing team mode right now. I hope this is not his base. Almost. And in free-for-all mode, you're basically, you start off with no team, and um, you you uh, basically can, you know, you fight other people, and if you kill them, they turn into a wraith on your team, which makes it really interesting for how your mini-map evolves. You watch your mini-map, and at first there's nothing on there, it's just you. Whoa! Sweet, we're victorious. There's a weird uh, visual glitch here at the end where all of everybody's sprites look really weird, but I'll fix that. But it's kind of the, that's the kind of the concept of the and it crashes after you're finished. Uh, but you can tell from from just like seven days ago to now, like it's become a really fun game to play. And so I'm very excited to be here at this point. Um, as far as code goes, there's really nothing specific I've done, but there's been tons general that I've done all over the code base and the AI system, the collision system, the move system, everything, all this, the the initial systems like. Everything has changed a little bit here and there, but nothing has changed too much. But it's all been tweaked to the point where it's really fun, and um, I'm really loving how this is turning out. So there you have it, another video making the game Wraithbinder. Thanks for watching, and we'll catch you next time. Wizafu, signing out.